This week on Demon of the Week, we are looking at Uval, or Vual, the 47th spirit of the Goetia. Welcome to my channel. You are entering the world of magic and mysticism with your host, Lee W. Johnson. Keep the lights on and help improve the channel by becoming a supporter for just $2.99 per month. Hit the join button. Okay, Uval, also named Vual. Um, correspondences are dates the is July 2nd to 11th, direction north, tarot of the three of cups, planet Venus, metal copper, element water, color green, plant myrrh, incense is sandalwood, zodiac is 10 to 20 degrees cancer, and the N is as ana nonai on ka uval. Uh, the Goetia uh, appears in the form of a mighty dromedary at the first, but after a while at the command of the exorcist, he putteth on human shape and speaketh the Egyptian tongue, but not perfectly. Uh, correct. Dromedary is a camel. Um, actually, in the Goetia ritual, specifically states an Arabian camel. Um not sure why he would speak the Egyptian tongue um, if it's not perfect and we don't understand the Egyptian tongue. I suppose some uh, people who worked with the spirits back in the day were Egyptian. Uh, they did come from the ancient Middle East, so who knows. Um, to his office uh, is to procure the love of woman and to tell things past, present, and to come. He also procureth friendship between friends and foes. Um, Connolly says, wearing the sigil of Uval, when going to a party or social gathering, will draw people to you. Um, now, there wasn't anything from Jahannam in, in regards to Uval. Um, so what I did, I actually looked at the at Corwin Hargrove's Goresha path working again to see if there's any extra things. Um, what he mentions is four things. There's restore trust, um, improve orgasm. Uh, this does not mean bring more sensuality into a relationship. However, this really does mean improve your orgasm, um, either your own or as a couple, both of your orgasms. So... There's that aspect, um, and then fascinate strangers. Uh, we'll be fascinated in a way that brings sexual arousal. So if we relate that back to um, what Connolly states about um, wearing the sigil when going to a party or social gathering, you will draw people to you. They could be um, sexually arousing them and therefore they, they are drawn to you. So bear that in mind. If you do not want those people to be drawn to you through sexual arousal, maybe, maybe not use the spirit for that. Um, and Hargrove also says um, sense a relationship. So if you want to know how somebody's feeling about you. If there's a relationship you want to build with a particular person, then Uval can help you actually understand how that person is feeling about you in order to actually help you build that relationship. Um, if we go on to the Goresha ritual, uh, it mentions the symbolism of Arabian camel being Luna, which is the association with water. And it says moon and water together represent unity of the self. Um, then in quotes, this is quoted from J.C. Cooper's An Illustrated Encyclopedia of Traditional Symbols. One moon appears reflected in all waters wherein all moons from the one moon derive. Um, the Goetia ritual also says, speaks in a deep guttural voice. Uh, where was that? That was not mentioned in the Goetia. So I'm not sure where they got that from. And I say that because personally, I don't think they've actually worked with these spirits very much. Um, I think it's just a 
conglomeration of knowledge taken as in um, they are basically armchair magicians. Um, so it says speaks in a deep guttural voice signifying an infernal status. Uval steadies, steadies our step, giving us a firm footing as we journey into the night, where nature breeds perverse, monstrous things worse than fables have told or fear conceived. God, this is so dramatic. Uh, the demon reveals the dark hours of our being and prepares the mind to curl comfortably into them, to find a life ready to shed its fates over and over again as a snake sheds its skin for its survival, growth and vitality. Hual releases the potentialities of indeterminacy while he tears apart the artificial threads of constricting human destinies. So if you want if if you want the dramatic approach to the Gresha, definitely have a look at the Gresha ritual. Uh, it's got all the drama you need. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that's Uval. Um, I would say Uval is really his office. Really, is to um, make you more attractive to friends. Um, but it could be in a sexual, sexually aroused aspect. So just bear that in mind before you do any work with Uval and just make it clear of what you actually want um, before you make your requests. All right, so that's Uval. Next week, we are looking at Hargenti. So I'll see you then. Have a good one for now. Bye-bye.